Hi, Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections here. Today's topic is why houses don't need CO2 alarms. I know, I'm being nitpicky, but houses really don't need CO2 alarms. They need CO alarms, carbon monoxide. And I only bring this up because I hear people say it all the time. Now I know you can buy them. Go to Walmart and search for a carbon dioxide detector and you'll find them. What you're actually buying is a carbon monoxide detector, but they know what people are looking for just like Google does. And they, they wanna match what they're selling to watch people, what people think they want. That brings me to my next myth, which is that you need a CO alarm in order to sell a home in Minnesota. False. You're supposed to have CO alarms. It's part of our building code. You need to have them installed within 10 feet of every sleeping room, but this has nothing to do with real estate. The next myth, again related to carbon monoxide, is that if you have a backdrafting appliance, you're gonna start filling the home with carbon monoxide. Now, while an appli a gas appliance is probably going to create carbon monoxide, and if it backdrafts, it's gonna spill some carbon monoxide into the room, a properly functioning gas appliance will almost never put out enough carbon monoxide to actually set off alarms, even if it's fully backdrafting into the home. So the, the reason I bring this up is because sometimes people say, well, if the appliance was backdrafting, wouldn't my carbon monoxide alarms have gone off? Well, you need more than just backdrafting to make that happen. You need a backdrafting gas appliance and you need to have high levels of carbon monoxide. You need to have both of those. And that brings me to another myth about carbon monoxide alarms. Some people have the false assumption that a CO alarm is a health device. Um, it's, it's there to protect your health. And it's not true. A CO alarm is a life safety device. It's there to keep you from dying. So you can live with low levels in car of carbon monoxide in your home for very long periods of time and have your CO alarms never go off. And that's by design. Another myth is that high levels of carbon monoxide are caused by a cracked heat exchanger in a furnace. It's simply not true. If you have a cracked heat exchanger and you got a bunch of air blowing out onto a burner, you've got the potential to increase carbon monoxide levels and maybe even create high levels, but I, I have yet to ever see that in my life. I'm sure you talk to a heating contractor, they'll tell you that they've seen it happen. But in general, high levels of carbon monoxide are caused by improper combustion, not a crack in a heat exchanger. So don't assume that one causes the other. Another myth is that high levels of carbon monoxide measured at a furnace or water heater mean that there's carbon monoxide leaking into the home. It's not true. If, a, if an appliance is venting properly, all the exhaust gases are gonna go up and out. They're not gonna leak into the home. So no matter what the carbon monoxide levels are in a gas appliance, all of that should be leaving the home. None of it should be leaking into the house, affecting the air that people are breathing. It doesn't mean that high levels of carbon monoxide are safe. I mean, if you have an improperly functioning gas appliance, you're just one step closer to high levels of CO in the air that you're breathing. So high CO, it should always be fixed, but it doesn't mean that it's leaking into the home. Those are two different things. And then the last one, just kind of a fun one, is that there is no such thing as a hot water heater. This is a water heater? Yes, that's exactly right. It is a water heater. Thank you for chiming in. And we're gonna end on that note. Thank you so much for watching.